Today we're going to check on our gold spark yellow grape tomatoes. Plants that we started from seed that we purchased from Harris Seed Company. So let's go in and see how these plants are doing. Oh, look at these chickens. Yeah, these Rhode Island Reds are noisy, aren't they? Relax, ladies. Alright. Here we have a little bed of sangria watermelons. These were also purchased at Harris Seeds. These are doing really nice. There's small small watermelons in here. Oh, we got a late start, but they really vined out recently and well, you can see there's there's some nice little watermelons in there about the size of a a Nerf football. Maybe a couple bigger ones, but most of them are about that size. Here we have a our second planting of Athena cantaloupe. Seed we also purchased that Harris seed. These are doing real nice. Uh, I think we got in here. We had some cucumber beetles, but we're, we got on top of them, and you can see they're setting fruit. There's several cantaloupes in there, and there's a lot of little ones on. And uh, I think this this is gonna do all right. Looks like we have some beetles in there now. We're, oh yeah, we do. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to hit them again. Here's something else I got from Harris Seed, which is uh, called Carnival Squash. Now this here, this is really pretty. A lot of people buy this just for an ornamental purpose, but it is delicious to eat. Yeah, you know, I like to cut up them in half and stuff them with a, a hamburger mixture and bake them in the oven a little cheese on top of there they're awesome but look they're setting fruit nicely this is my first time growing these I grow everything on a raised bed with black plastic mulch and drip irrigation underneath everything has every row every row is done like this with a valve that you can turn on and off and they got a little heavy see it snapped off there but they're still growing nice so these I started all from seed. Actually started these in four inch pots. And uh, they did real nice. We start a lot of our stuff indoors in, in four inch pots. Here we got some gourds that are growing up on the firewood pile. Uh, these are seeds that I've had from local growers that sell seed and create their own gourd mixtures and stuff like that. I got some really nice unusual gourds. Alright, well let's get to those gold spark tomatoes like I was talking about. Alright, here we have red grape F1. You can see they're just loaded with fruit in there. We've been picking off of them for couple weeks you want to look down the row there quick at the red grapes all right and we'll jump over this row of uh, peppers here these are giant Marconi's and Mamma Mia's and then here we have the the gold spark now I really like growing these uh, you can see down the row here uh, these are about six foot tall right now we got a I got these in a little late and they were a little spindly when I put them in but I planted them deep and they uh, they came back and and they're looking nice they could use some fertilizer right now and I haven't sprayed them with a fungicide yet I should have but I just didn't get around to it they were sprayed for bugs once and uh, we don't have anything on them there's nothing on these they're clean um, you see the, the, the foliage, there's a little disease in here. That's why I want to get a fungicide on them this week. But you see there's a lot of little ones up in the top. There's fruit everywhere. Up in here, nice, nice sets of fruit all the way up. This is about 
You know, this is about five foot level right here where these are at. And uh, beautiful, they're loaded up. And then the best of all is these first sets of fruit are ripening up now for about a week or two, about two weeks now. And uh, we're getting nice clusters like this that we can harvest. You can get a handful, you know, with one little, you just reach in there and grab everything that's yellow and look at that. Beautiful. You got half a tail right there. So look at these. Look at these clusters in here. Ain't they beautiful? That's a nice sized grape tomato. So I really like growing these. These are a money maker for me. I grow them all in 54 inch cages. I have bigger cages for other cherries, but these are 54 inch cages and then there's a stake between every one of them and they're zip tied and wire tied to two cages to the, the stake in between so as, so they don't fall over because they certainly will when they get so big and like I said everything's on a raised bed with black plastic mulch and drip line irrigation so there's a drip every foot uh, my plants are spaced out 18 or 17 inches apart 17 inches apart rows my rows are uh, 32 inches apart and the beds are 32 inches wide so that's my formula I put I put grass clippings between the rows to keep the weeds down and to keep erosion and uh, I'm not a professional I'm just a home gardener but I take it pretty seriously I grew for competition in the fairs and stuff so I was pretty good at it at one time <laughs> there you have it this is the gold spark hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching